I know, uh, I think I first spoke to you, it was probably about 18 months ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it will have been, yeah. I, I, I think uh, I called you down at Aunt Chloe's gym where you were moving around with a, a very good girl in um, Rihanna. Rihanna Dixon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who's just gone on to win the couple of Yeah, she's doing really well. Um, yeah, I've, I've sparred with Rihanna a few times, not for a while, like, but uh, she's, she's doing really good things at the minute. And I, I, I've got heard of you because. Um, I don't know why I should have, because you were on the GB squad and you've been a, I think, two times national champion. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, but I was really impressed. I was really impressed because <laughs> I know Rihanna was, is a very, very quick puncher. Yeah, she is. She's quick. But not Explosive. as quick as you. <laughs> ah, you, you absolutely. It's like Grease Lightning. Like <laughs> Grease Lightning. Um, and you were hoping at the time, you because you, you were on the GB squad and you were hoping to be picked for the Commonwealth, which was going to be held in Birmingham, weren't they? Yeah, that's right. I think but, it was just before then, yeah. But it didn't happen, did it? No, no. Um, so why, what happened? I was I was reserved for the Commonwealth. Yeah. Um, and then I've, I've always struggled to make make the 60 kilos. Um, so after the Commonwealth, um, got, I moved up to 63. Um, but yeah, I just didn't get picked for the Commonwealth Games. But um, I, to be honest, I don't I don't know if I would have made the weight. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, it was quite tight, so. So what was the reason for you? How old are you now? Are you twenty seven. Twenty nine. Oh, twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. So what what was the reason? Was that it? Mainly that you're twenty nine. You wanted to kick over and and give it a go because if you left it too much longer, it might have been. That's right. Yeah. So like, because I was in between two Olympic weights, um, sixty three kilo. I sort of I held out to go to the World Championships because at sixty three kilo I could have gone then, but then with all the politics um, within boxing, we did, they didn't, JB didn't send a team to the World Championships. Um, so then I was still like, do I, do I stay on a weight category that I, I know I'm not going to make the Olympics at? Um, so I, I thought, oh, well, maybe I could move up to 66. Um, then the, the, at the most recent qualifiers at the European Games, the girl at 66, Rosie, she qualified. So that, uh, although I was thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna turn professional anyway, that just like was a final it. Straw. yeah, it was a final straw. I thought, well, I'm not making 60. The girl at 66 is qualified. Um, I'm 29 year old, so like I need to I need to sort of push on really. Well then, that decision was made for you. This decision, what was it? What was the decision to come to uh, Jamie Moore and Nigel Travis at the VIP Jimmy? Yeah, so I've I've been coming down here a while and um, helping Chantel Spa with sparring and stuff like that so I knew it was a good atmosphere in the gym and um, I've always been made, made me feel really welcome with, by Nigel and Well uh, does it matter because you you never stop smiling <laughs> you never stop smiling so does it have to be a good atmosphere for you to enjoy yourself yeah you, you just, well, uh, I make the best of it wherever I'm at <laughs> but uh, it's even, even easier here yeah though. it's easier here just uh, yeah it felt like a, a good close-knit sort of team that I wanted to be a part of um, so I spoke to Jamie and he was um, more than happy to train us um, and I thought I've got good sparring here with with Chantel. You don't have to go travelling do you? Exactly yeah. Um, and obviously she's got the huge fight just before Christmas. Yeah that's the it. rematch. Yeah that's it. Uh, so are you going to be part of that training camp? Yeah well, I'm sure I'll help her out in sparring like um, Jamie will get like other people in as well like you um, but yeah, I think I'll, I'll be a, a part of that as well. So that'll be good, good to be like involved in in the build up and um, yeah, Chantel, someone I look up to as well. So it's uh, perhaps a, a perfect place to come and a perfect time to come yeah. as well. It seems yeah. like you know when you look at things in boxing, it all seems to happen for a reason. It, it does, maybe yeah. maybe this is a good yeah. sign already, isn't it? Yeah, I've always thought that like if I just keep grafting and keep improving and focus on my boxing. The right doors will open, and I feel like I'm, I'm in exactly where I need to be now. And when do you think you're uh, you, you're gonna have your, uh, your debut? Um, ho hopefully, like by the end of the year, definitely. Um, just applied for my license and stuff now, so I need to get like medical and um, just um, like sorting out my promotional promotional deal at the moment. My and who you looking to? Who's your manager? Uh, Lee Eaton's my manager. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, Lee, yeah, good guy. Yeah. So uh, he's he's working on that. So he's going to speak to everyone and see see what the best offer we can get is, really. Right. Well, listen, I'm, I'm looking forward to that journey start. Like I say, I've, I've watched you a few times and you you really impressed me. Oh, thank you. And uh, I, I I can't see how as talented as you are already, how you're not going to get even better in this place. That's it. Yeah. I'm in the I'm in the right place to go at the top of the link. So. All right. Well, listen. Whatever that journey is, hopefully we'll be chatting to you before that because obviously this is. 
almost my office as well. So uh, I'll uh, look for. And, and you, you are actually staying down here, aren't you? Staying yeah, in, I'm staying in, in, in the house. fighter's house. Yeah, Monday to Friday. So that's good. There's Chant and Chantel's still in there. With yeah, you. Chantel's in there in uh, Connor Tudsbury and um, the Kazakh, the Kazakh lad. Oh, he's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Interesting. I haven't met him yet. So. Oh, have you not? No, so. But you know, it used to be so funny because there used to be a big uh, cruiseway called Stephen Ward here. Right. He's an Irish lad, and them two uh, used to, you know, stay in the house together, and they were just so funny. Really? But, well, because Tursen can't really speak brilliant English. Yeah. And neither could Stephen Ward. He spoke Irish, <laughs> and when he used to share that with. Um, you know, Carl and um, oh, Conrad yeah, Cummins, yeah. when they were both here, and they'd all spent the weekend together, they come in here on a Monday morning, you couldn't understand that, yeah. either, you know, because uh, they'd just be in that Irish yeah. twang, what they got. Well, listen, uh, uh, good luck for whatever comes next. Uh, yeah, thank you. I'm Appreciate sure it. you'll be very uh, successful uh, pro as you was an amateur. Yeah, thanks very much. And uh, you take care, love. Cheers. Bye-bye. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click subscribe VIP boxing promotions also Twitter Instagram and Facebook